Hello and welcome back to the channel. Hello. I'm Martin. And I'm Helen. Uh, from Martin and Helen's uh, Treks. Our YouTube channel has been now in place for about a year. Um, as we thought, uh, sitting here thinking about the year we've had, we were sat here when we started this 12 months ago, wondering what sort of year we'd have, uh, given the COVID situation and where we travel. And particularly as we're normally abroad uh, in Europe during the winter, um, home in the UK in the summer, away winter time, that was certainly the plans before uh, the pre-COVID pre yeah. and, and pre-Brexit. Yeah. Um, pre pre Don't mention the yeah, B word. We, can we just say right from the top, we're not, we're not political, we're not no. interested in the rights and wrongs. No. We're just looking at the situation ahead yeah. and trying to make it fit. Yeah. Trying to work within the rules that we've got. So yeah, yeah, absolutely. That's the hardest bit, yeah. but there you go. So the years really, we've had 103 nights away. Yeah. Um, yeah. Where have we been, H? Oh, okay. Can you remember? No. Uh, it <laughs> seems really like a blur. Remember, but it's a good job we've got photographs and we've got vlogs because it helps jig your memory as to where it you've does, been. Yeah. So we've been to Suffolk. Yeah. We've been um, to Mull um, via Oban and then off over to the island of Mull, back onto the mainland. Don't forget Balmoral. And Balmoral. Yeah, we had a great uh, stay yeah. at Balmoral. Incidentally, you can park your motorhome overnight at Balmoral. Yes. And there's no charge. Um, only in, I think, August... Is it end of July into August? There's a small charge, but yeah. it's a great car park there yeah. and there's plenty of room for, I think there's about five or six motorhome parking. So if you do fancy going to um, visit the Queen, obviously when she's not in residence, then it's uh, really good to, to be able to park yeah. there. Yeah, it's not very um, well at the moment, is she? No, bless her. That's a shame. No, um, yeah. so when we, and we came back and then we've been, the, I think probably the highlight of the year was the trip to the Outer Hebrides. Um, it's just completely blew us away. It was totally different from anywhere else we've been. Um, stunning, beautiful, fantastic beaches. Yeah, you must go. All the islands are unique. Um, Harris, I think, has probably got the best beaches, but the others have got something else that makes them special. Yeah. Um, whether it's the wildlife, whether it's the causeways yeah. that lead you from one to the other. Yeah. The people are very friendly. Which is your favourite island? Oh. I knew you were going to say that. I thought you were going to say to me, what's my favourite gin? That's an easier question. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay then, what was your favourite gin? Well, after careful consideration. and It was careful. The trying of she did several a lot, bottles. She did do a lot of, lot of testing. Lots, yes, yes. Um, I have to say, all with the same tonic water, just so we, it was an accurate testing. It was very um, scientific. <laughs> I think my favourite gin was Dampo from the North Uist. And that's interesting because that I nice. uh, there's some fantastic places out there, but North Uist was my favourite island. Mm. It just got under your skin, North yeah, Uist. It, did. it yeah. was just tremendous, yeah. really. Yeah. So as I say, we've had 103 nights away. Um, so really, it's a better year than we thought, given that you know for a long time we couldn't get out, could we? It was just it was quite a like everybody else locked down. Frustrating. Uh, so it's pretty yeah. uh, pretty good. We've got some plans for the rest of the year. We're yeah. going to head across to uh, Chichester um, via Summers Wood. Yes, which is we've heard lots so of great things not about. Not been before. I've never tried it, so that's uh, that's uh, the next trip. And then we're going to go down to uh, Concierge Camping. Yes, seen which, lots of uh, good reviews about yeah, this as well. Yeah, just as a bit of a so, treat, really. Will it be the poshest uh, campsite we've ever been to? Hard to say, really. Uh, yeah. We we certainly on millionaire motorhomes, wasn't it? It was, yeah. yeah so uh, watch this space. Just have a few days there, test that out. Yeah. It looks um, looks to be quite nice. Mm. Um, so we'll get back, and then we've got a trip to the Norfolk Broads in December. We certainly have. Yes, our, our old favourite. Yep. And then we really are going home in January. We're going to Castleton. Yes. And before we moved to Norfolk, we were just inside Yorkshire, just, just north of the Peak District. So we spent a lot of time at Castleton yeah. in the Peak District. It was our go-to yeah. site for yeah, it was. everything, really. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Walkable into town, nice pubs, dog-friendly yeah, pubs now, which is now another con consideration for us. Yep. Seeing as we've got a new addition to our family this year as well. Yeah. Yep. It was actually fast asleep under the table for a change. Yeah, she's not, <laughs> not, not causing mayhem. Caring like not a jot. Does. No. <laughs> no. no. Um, but the real, main reason why we've sort of thought we'd uh, do a bit of a catch up and, and talk really is about the plans that we're putting in place for mm. Europe. And it's fair to say Europe is the reason why we bought the Motorhome, although we have enjoyed this country quite a lot, haven't we? But yeah. Europe is uh, a place we we enjoy and um, obviously we've got to adapt to the new new conditions. But um, And having a dog, uh, we didn't have a dog before. No, we didn't. So we've no. got to think about that. And so we've been, we certainly booked the trip. We're going to do... Um, uh, you know, quite a long trip, uh, the maximum allowed um, out there. And where are we going to go, H? Well, we're going to go and set off. Um, we've got the train booked. Um, so we're then going to go a couple of days through France, straight down to uh, Spain and to Benicassim. 
Uh, we're going to have a little bit of a holiday there and hopefully enjoy the sunshine, which will be, still be there. Um, and then we're going to head down and meet some friends at uh, a site that we've used to be our regular go-to when we go to Europe in the in the winter uh, or something to Spain in the winter. And that was it's, it used to be called Mahal Costa Blanca. It's now rebranded and it's Alania Costa Blanca. It's nearly got like, some, uh, I got a text yesterday from a friend of ours saying, where are you? And of course, the Dutch and German. Yeah. And we had to explain to them that we, 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 uh, we're really limited now in terms of days. So we had to choose between the spring or the winter. Mm. So, um, yeah. Yeah. And they're taunting us at the minute, yeah. saying that they are now camped up at Mahal and um, the weather's nice. And where are we? So yeah. we've and had the, to say to them, well, we will meet you next year, the, but just hold hold on to that fact we are coming. The yeah. Dutch are threatening to drink all the wine before well, we get there. Yeah, yeah. Uh, knowing the Dutch, they'll probably have a very good, good, very good go at it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. so there we're going to head down uh, towards Gibraltar. Gibraltar, yeah, and then do uh, we're going to try and stick to the coastline as much as we can through the sort of southern Spain. We might venture up into Seville, and then we're going to go into Portugal. And go so again. Follow the coastline of Portugal. There's one or two places we're just sort of looking at now. So if anybody's got any ideas, yeah, recommendations to, are recommendations good. Brilliant for roundabout to stay near Seville, um, or to, to you know certainly when we get into Portugal, any good sites, any good places to visit, please put them in the comments. Um, and we'd we'd love to see where other people have been to and to take some advice from you as well. So yeah, that would be great. Yeah, and then and then um, we want to go to uh, Lisbon. Yes, we want to do Lisbon and, and then uh, go back up uh, probably via Porto as well. Yeah. And then yeah. head into nor back into northern Spain and go to um, Santiago de Compostela to go to the church there to see a little bit of the Camino um, that we've read and heard so much about. We watched that great Martin Sheen film, I don't know when you've mm. seen it, um, which basically they, they walk, it was a pilgrimage and they walk, they walk, yeah. the, walk the route. Yeah. Um, so it's, we're not planning to walk it and we're not planning to go on pilgrimage, pilgrimage but uh, we yeah. quite fancy looking at the, looking look at the at sites. It, yeah, and seeing some of the things from and, that. Uh, and then it'll be the, uh, we, we are braving it again and coming back on the boat from Santander. Yeah. So. We should have said actually, we're going to catch the train going out. Yeah. Um, because it's probably a little bit easier with the dog because we're going to use um, a vets in um, there's a vets called Abbey Well. Um, we've not used them before, no. but well recommended. We're mm -hmm. going to use that service. Um, it's an online service where you can pick up your animal health certificate. As mm -hmm. you're probably aware, we can't use pet passports um, to go out. There is some suggestion that some places will still issue pet mm -hmm. passports, but certainly not a problem getting back into the UK with a pet passport, but we're just waiting and using the few months ahead to yeah, see whether any problems happens. about going back out again mm. or whether we've, you know, because if we've got to buy another animal health certificate, then we've actually mm. wasted the time. And yeah. uh, some yeah. concerns as well about rabies, jabs, updates and mm. chips and mm. think a few things have got to be settled down yet. And, you know, hopefully we're all hoping that some degree of um, common, sense. Uh, common sense will prevail yeah. and there'll be some kind of return to the yeah. pet passport yeah. scheme. But... Yeah. At the moment, um, it's not uh, not very forthcoming. No. So, so we're just going to wait yeah. and see with that and see what happens to it other does. people. And it we've got, we've got, oh, what there was a saying about that's the dog. There we go. That's the dog as a car drives past the outside. Yeah. Okay. And as if by magic, here she appears. Here she is. <laughs> There's things we didn't really expect, really, with planning the trip. We thought because we've been a lot of times to Europe. In fact, we were 11 months in Europe on on, on a trip two years ago. But having the dog alters things. So yeah. um, things like you can't take fresh food in. So we've got to think about how we um, we do that. Although yeah. she's not got a, a particular diet, but we, you can't take any meat products. Many in. meat products, so yeah. So we're going to research that, yeah. and Helen's going to email a, our food company and see if yeah, we can source we can source it in what she needs abroad or Spain things. or something yeah. like that. Yeah. So we're going to we're going to have to make some plans over the next, and if not, we'll try and identify food that is sourceable here and in Europe. Yeah. Fish based would be good. Yeah, and That's probably just okay. change her over in a, slowly in advance yeah. of the trip. So. Yeah. That'll work, won't yeah. it, baby? Yeah. Yeah. yeah so we. It's a good um, job you're cute because you're a burden. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. So there's there's the, the animal health certificates. Um, we're probably gonna um, do ninety days, um, come back, and then we've got a plan for the for the next trip, which will be towards the autumn time, mm. which will be really northern Europe, probably across to Croatia, Croatia, mm. and probably this time we'll take advantage of the full four months that we can get on the health certificate yeah. but of course we'll have to step outside the Schengen area at the moment that's looking like being Croatia mm. so it's an area we really wanted to go there so it's it's not yeah. like it's going to be a massive change of plan for us because 
um, we, we sort of there's plenty of places around there that we want to go and visit. So it'll yeah. be a yeah. it's a bonus for us really that we can we can step out and yeah. go there and not compromise yeah. on any on any well yeah. any more of the Europe trip really. So yeah, it's a funny yeah. thing planning planning ahead at the moment for Europe because there seems to be some uh, moving feasts almost where one is with COVID we're, we're holding his breath that we don't get red flagged in another country mm. uh, at the moment. I think Sweden and Morocco have because yeah. of our high COVID rates have, have, have stopped us going there. Um, but uh, that may be a moving uh, situation. Uh, but also we're hoping that uh, politically there'll be some movement. Doesn't look very good while ever they're impounding our fishing boats at no. the moment, but we know, well, hopefully we'll get beyond yeah. that and um, get beyond the French election and perhaps we'll see yeah. things settle down. Uh, so it's a bit tricky, but yeah. we'll get there. But we're definitely going. We've had a year off. We're not spending another year no, no. out of Europe. Well, the pull of going so. to France and Spain and yeah. around and Portugal yeah. has been too great for us. One of the other things we've had to consider as well is with the 90 days and the dog is what time of year we want to go. Um, and whereas we don't tend to go in the school holidays anyway um, mm. because we've got grandchildren and we like to see them, but it will be too hot for the dog as well. So we've mm. made our decision that spring and autumn are probably this year certainly mm. going to be the, the time for us to yeah. travel. We don't have aircon on our unit, although it might be a consideration if it mm. does get too hot for a yeah, bit. Yeah, some form of aircon uh, anyway. There's yeah. Obviously, it's quite costly, but also the weight. So I think I'm really sort of keen to hear for myself um, how quiet these new uh, mm. air cons are, although people are raving about them. So probably check that out in the next next few months mm. and see how that works. And maybe think about that, for, certainly for the second trip, yeah. if because uh, we, may, we may be travelling towards the end of August. Mm. So you know, mm. we'll, we'll, we'll see how that, how that works, really. Yeah. But um, on, the, on other news, you've probably seen already, we've had the van ceramic and that's turned out very well. Oh, that's There's, awesome. I'll not dwell yeah. on that because we have done a vlog yeah. on that and I'll put, yeah. the, I'll put a card up so you can go and have a look at that if you're interested. But it it's actually pretty, looks better than when we picked it up brand new. It so does, it's yeah. Just and it just washes clean now, so we don't yeah. need to, to do it. We keep it in a forest and it's, if, it's often green if we've left it for yeah. six weeks. So rather yeah. than having to have it balloted and tea cutted, and I'm not a yeah. polisher anyway, so... Yeah, but I say there's another vlog about that, so yeah. we'll not go over that. And the only other bit of uh, motor on related news we've had is that um, you, we put a post on into our Instagram account recently about a jackery, a mm -hmm. second jackery, which was replaced, and um, we've sort of uh, that raised some questions really because I think there's been a lot of recommendations for jackery, and people were a bit concerned about whether they thought that um, jackery was going to be a problem. Mm -hmm. um, but we just think, it's, to be honest, we put it down to a one-off. We, yeah. we sort of um, I haven't seen anybody else with a jackery problem. I suspect that every item ever produced was has had one problem. So, and and they did replace it a little bit clunk, um, clunky at first. But the key thing is with jackery to remember is that they source their products through Amazon Marketplace mm. in the UK. So Amazon are actually the people you're buying it off. We resurrected a A to Z warranty claim through through Amazon, and the I don't know what hold that what that means to the trader, but it certainly triggered them into a quicker got a very quick response, quick then, response we? once we triggered yeah. that. So yeah. we were, um, were quite happy with that, really. Um, so it's good. Yeah. Um, We've managed to FedEx it back to them from Stirling because <laughs> we, it, uh, it failed on us on our out of the start of our Outer Hebrides trip. Yeah. So we managed to get, um, they managed to send us documents to print off and everything else. And we managed yeah. to send it back from a, a FedEx shop in, uh, in Stirling. Yeah. So it, it, it worked and yeah. it didn't put us off buying this new, uh, the new Jackery as well. So, yeah. Incidentally, yeah. people, people um, asked us about the Jackery. We, we, we're not really into doing product reviews. If you're interested in, in the product of Jackery, mm. then Bob Earnshaw's uh, done a very good review mm. of both the Jackery and probably its closest competitor for us, which was the Power Oak. Yeah. But if you're interested in uh, big Power Oaks, John and Mandy's done an excellent review of a, of a Power Oak uh, yeah. channel. And also Camp Vibe have done, done an excellent comparison well, between yeah. the two. Yeah. So for us, it was either going to be... Oh, and Posh Cats as well. Oh, yeah, they have, po yeah. Posh Cats yeah. have done a, a review yeah. of, the, uh, of the Power Oak. Yeah. Uh, those, those, for me, uh, for us, are trusted sources, are trusted mm. channels. Um, obviously, it's, the, the internet, so certainly YouTube is a wash with recommendations, but th th those mm. three we trust. Um, and we've gone for the Jackery. And some people asked us on, online why the 1000, not the 500. Well, I think that the 500 generally would be a good piece of kit and would generally meet most needs. Mm. Um, we tested it even with the Rimosca, and it's only pulling 397 yeah. watts with the Rimosca. Yeah. Um, and, but, the and the neutral bullet. And the neutral bullet. We had them is both running yeah, at the we, same time. We did, yeah. yeah. Uh, although that wouldn't, we couldn't run them both at the same time on the 500, but you no. certainly can on the 1000. Yeah. Um, but really, if you're looking at um, just digital recharge for. Uh, cameras, drones, vlogs, etc., yeah. etc. Um, the 500 would be fine, mm. but we were thinking ahead a little bit and thinking, you know, in, in France when we're on six amps, uh, Spain where sometimes you have to pay 
um, addition of quarterly for your, for your electric. Certainly, if you're using the ASI card in winter, there's often a limited amount of mm. wattage and then they pay you on the meter. Uh, this thing allows us to um, you know, eat into that a little bit and certainly the six amps side of things will probably just run the fridge and then we're probably struggling. So um, we're, looking, we're looking at that really rather than just um, simply a digital recharge. Yeah. So that's the reasons why. Yeah, and we went for the solar panel as well. So, yeah, yeah. Which, uh... it, I, I've already worked out, by the way, with these things, is that the, the, I think the secret is to keep them topped up because mm. whichever source you're using, whether it be the solar panels, the 12 volt in charger, or the or the power, the mains power, it's not an easy, it's not a quick process. So, I think the point is, if you use 20 percent and you've got the opportunity to put it back in while you're there, do it, do and it then keep, keep it yeah. topped up, and, yeah. uh, and it seems pretty good. Yeah. yeah. So, um, I don't know if we've got anything new news. Have we? No, I think that's about it, yeah. really. So we're, we've been running this channel for about coming up for a year. Um, we've um, we're, we're delighted with the people that have watched us and, and very grateful. Yeah. And thanks um, for your feedback. Yep. Um, thank your you support. for all the new subscribers, old subscribers. Thank you for staying with us. Um, we've enjoyed doing it. We've hope we've improved over the year. Yeah. <laughs> Learn to smile a bit more Learn in front to of the smile camera. A bit more. Yeah. While yeah. we relax, it's easier. Yeah. Be a bit more natural. You yeah. look back at some of the first ones and it's a bit like. Ooh, Cringe, yeah, yeah, cringe, yeah. cringe, cringe. <laughs> yeah, we had, we had a, um, um, a, somebody who was watching our videos today kindly said that well, they were binge watching them and, the, and they said it was interesting how we progressed. So yeah. we were quite pleased about that, really, because I think maybe we were a bit wooden to start with. Yeah, probably. But, yeah. no, maybe everybody is. Yeah. But hey, uh, thanks very much. Uh, you can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram. Um, we don't know Twitter. We've tried it. It's not for us. No. It's a bit toxic, to be fair. Yeah. Um, but so we've both got Instagram accounts. Um, mine's more related to the travel photography that we pictures we take while we're traveling and Ellen's is more of a social, social account side so of it, yeah. yeah I'd probably yeah. watch Ellen's channel more for mine but mine's just photographs but nevertheless it's, uh, it's there and um, and obviously if you subscribe to the channel that would be wonderful yeah. um, incidentally there's some suggestion that people think there's, there's a charge for that there isn't it's yeah, free, it's free. Um, it, it just means that you get notification when we publish something and it gives us some some guidance as to how we're doing and and it helps the channel grow so we're really really grateful if you could do that but uh, whatever you're doing uh, stay safe New season into autumn, yeah. in, uh, out of autumn into winter coming up. Enjoy it, stay safe, and um, we'll see you in the next one. Yeah, thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye.